Hey guys, it's me Ryan and welcome back to another video. Today's video I have a tutorial for you guys on how to use side chaining effectively. And if you guys don't know what side chaining is, it's something that every electronic artist must know. I wouldn't say need or I wouldn't say it'd be it'd benefit if they knew you have to know this because it is so important and it's so widely used by almost every artist that I've run into that I mean you'd be a fool not to learn this. Now I will admit that some tutorials that I watch whenever I wanted to start learning this they were a little bit uh, they were unclear and also had me doing crazy things like using I believe it was a fruity peak inverter or something and I just could I could never get it to work. So I'm gonna show you guys this is gonna be raw we're gonna make a project from scratch and I'm gonna show you guys how I go about it. So what we're gonna do is we just have the default instruments real right here real quick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, no, you know what? I'm just gonna use the default ones then. So we're gonna make a four on the floor real quick. So here's the here is the four on the floor. Turn this down so I don't blow your eardrums out. And here's what we have so far. Standard. You know, we've we've heard that so many times before, and, and this will never, you know, we could of course we could change this, but this is the typical four on the floor. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add in an instrument. Now you can add in anything you want. I'm just going to use a Nexus, and I already know what I'm going to use. Broken square in the arpeggio section. And we're going to draw out a little pattern. Let's see. We're going to use this one. Alright, so we're going to take this, copy this, move this bottom note down to C5, turn the repeat step sequencer on, because if you have, like this is only going to be one, uh, one, beat, or not one, one beat, one measure, one bar, um, because we have it, it's set by four, four beats, four beats in a bar. Okay, but this, uh, this goes two bars. So what we do is we just turn that on so that it will repeat if it goes over the one bar that we have here. Okay, sounding good so far. So now what we're gonna do is now we're gonna side chain. Actually, first I'm gonna show you guys a little trick. Uh, I referenced to this a couple times in my past videos on how to quickly do your kick uh, boost a little bit. And I'm gonna show you guys real fast. It's really easy. So whatever insert you have your kick on, which by default it's insert number one for me, I'm pretty sure it's like that for everybody else. Uh, but whatever it is, go to your kick. And you see down here you have these three little lines. Now this is just a little equalizer three bands the low the mid and the high what we're going to do is we're going to take the mid and we're just going to click on the the vertical line and we're going to click and drag it over to where the bottom one is try to line it up as best as you can then you're going to take the middle slider here and you're going to just drag it up so it makes this little little bump so now if we have it by default here's what here's what it sounds like we just solo the kick all right, now if we bump it up a little bit, boost up the low end. So you can do that if you're looking for a real fast way just to boost up your kick, or something that I've started to do uh, more recently is actually use the e parametric equalizer. And if you guys don't know how to use this, uh, when you play something that has this enabled, of course, um, you'll see like a red, there's a yellow, like a reddish orange kind of color in wherever the, the sound is, I would say the beefiest at. So let, let's take a look. So you see we have the most color down here at the very end, which I already knew, towards the low end of the low bass and the bass bands. Because there's seven bands all together, or seven uh, adjusters, or whatever you want to call them. So we have 63 hertz and 136 hertz. Now what we want to do is we can just take our low bass up a little bit. Try to keep it around 60 hertz or so. And then our regular bass bring that up, keep it around 100, 130 to 140. And uh, it's usually, I usually have the low bass higher than the actual bass, so here's what that sounds like now. Sounds pretty good. Of course, and if I had a, a, a decent kick on, it would sound a lot better, but I'm using the default kick. So we're gonna, we're gonna turn that off right now. We'll come back to it a little bit later. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna side chain it now. So what we do is you take your instrument or instruments, you can do this to multiple. Now if you have like a pad or you have a couple pads, you can actually put them in the same 
uh, mixer insert and just side chain them the same. But if you want uh, different instruments to have different values or different degree of side chaining, then you can, uh, of course, assign them to separate mixer tracks. So we're going to take our nexus here, we're going to assign it to a random, or the first free one, which would be number five. So now if we play, we'll see the waveform start coming through on our mixer. So there it is. So to sidechain, all we have to do is we click on our kick right here, insert number one, go over to wherever you assigned your instrument to, go down, and you'll see this little arrow that's pointing upwards. You're going to right click on it, and you're going to click sidechain to this track. We have this little knob. Leave that knob right there where it is. Don't mess around with that. Next, what you're going to do is go to the insert of your instrument now, and you'll see that this has changed, I believe. No, it doesn't change. Sorry. So what we're going to do is go into the inserts, and we're going to bring in a fruity limiter. Now, this is super easy. Now, watch very closely. So we have this. We have limit. It's on limiter mode right now. We're going to turn it to compressor mode. So now we have this. Turn the side chain right here. It's three dashes. Turn it to number one. Then you're going to take your threshold down. Uh, halfway, quarter, it doesn't matter. Whatever you think's good. Just start low and then work your way up. Then take your ratio and put it kind of close to it. Something like that. You don't have to mess around with gain or saturation or attack release or a head, whatever in the world that is. You just want to focus on threshold and ratio. So now if we listen, we're going to turn our equalizer on. Now if we take a listen, Did you hear it? It sounded a lot better. Basically what it does is every time the kick kicks, it takes down the volume however low that you set the, the threshold down. If you have it down all the way, it'll take the volume down all the way. Every time that the kick hits, it'll go down and then come back up real quick. So now if we put this lower, you can hear the difference. And all the way. You can hardly hear it. So now it's up to you to mix this into your song however you like. So I would probably keep it, if this was my lead, I would keep it somewhere around here, I'd say. And now if you have uh, anything in the background that you don't need as loud as your lead, of course, like a pad or something, you can take it lower. So here's what we have, and this, I guess this is the, the final result. that's it it's so easy and then what you can also do is actually you can turn off the limiter and activate it via a automation clip whenever you want the sidechain to kick in because some most of the time I don't have the sidechain kick in until the uh, the hook of the song or the drop or the chorus whatever you want to call it uh, then I'll turn it on and then I'll also turn on the equalizer as well to bump my kick up to make it uh, start pounding so that's pretty much it Super easy to do. Hope you guys found this uh, educational and entertaining. If you guys have any other questions or any other t tutorial requests, let me know in the comments below, and I'd be glad to make a tutorial. All right, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later.